digital SAT math flashcards, equilateral triangle in a circle. When an equilateral triangle is inscribed in a circle, the side length is equal to the radius times the square root of 3. Don't worry, we'll still go over how to solve these types of problems without this formula. For this example, I'll first make the drawing recalling concepts about equilateral triangles from a previous short. The only thing they told us was that the radius is 10. So I'm going to draw a radius to a convenient location. How about one of the vertices of the triangle? Hopefully you can see that 60 degree angle in the bottom left is bisected into two 30 degree angles. So if I drop a perpendicular uh, from the center down, we will form a 30, 60, 90 triangle like this, where the angle in the bottom left is 30, the perpendicular angle is 90, and then the remaining angle towards the top right is 60 degrees. Next, we'll add the radius to the picture, which is 10. And next, we'll hold it up to the 30, 60, 90 triangle from the reference sheet. I see that 2x is 10. That means x is equal to 5. So the side on the right is 5, and the side on the bottom is 5 root 3. And this um, dashed perpendicular that I dropped cuts the base into two equal parts. It bisects it. So the right half is also 5 root 3, and that makes this entire side 10 root 3. Finally, I can draw one more radius going from the center up to try to figure out the height. So that radius also has a measure of 10. And we can now do area equals 1 half base times height. The base is this 10 root 3 side, and the height is 5 plus 10, which is 15. We put those into the equation, and we get an area of 75 root 3. So remember that equation I told you about at the very beginning that only applies to this very specific situation. Well, we can combine that with the area for an equilateral triangle, which we learned about in a previous short, and solve this problem really quick. The radius is 10, is s is equal to r root 3, the side length is 10 root 3, and if we use the area of equilateral triangle formula, we get the same thing, 75 root 3. Pause this video and take a second to write this question down. See if you can try it and tell me what you think the answer is in the comments below. Pause this video and see if you can remember this important DSCT math concept.